Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this look for you guys. It's perfect for fall. So my first fall tutorial on my channel of this year. That makes me so happy. I love fall looks and it's even perfect for winter because of how vampy this lip is. It's so delicious and rich and <laughs> so I actually did this look on my eyes a few days ago and I got so many compliments on it and it's super quick and easy to do so I had to recreate it for you guys today so I hope you guys enjoy this look and if you guys want to stick around to see how I got it then just keep on watching I'm first going into Makeup Geek eyeshadow in Barcelona Beach with my Sigma E38 diffuse crease brush I'm going to start running this shadow through my crease and this is going to be our transition shade just to make the other shadow more blendable I'm now picking up Makeup Geek Eyeshadow and Brownie Points. Now I'm switching over to my Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm applying this through my crease. And I mentioned this before with smoky eyes, I like to concentrate on blending the shadow through the crease first because then it makes it much easier just to pop on that shadow on your lid and your look is basically done. Now to pat that shadow onto my lid, I'm using my Sigma E54 medium sweeper brush. Now I'm going back into Barcelona Beach on my Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush and I like to bring back the transition shade at the very end just to make sure that the look is completely blended. Now for my lower lash line, I'm picking up Barcelona Beach and just running that along my lash line. And then I'm going in with brownie points and doing that same thing and smoking this out on my lower lash line. Basically just to mimic the same thing that was through my crease. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going into Makeup Geek Eyeshadow and Mirage. Now I'm going to highlight my brow bone using my Sigma E32 Exact Blend Brush. For my lid, I'm picking up Pure Cosmetics Eye Polish in OMG. So I picked this eye polish up on my ring finger and now I'm just going to tap this over my lid using a really light hand because I don't want to move the shadow on the bottom. And now just going back in with the blending brush just to blend the lid and crease together. I'm now going into Makeup Geek Eyeshadow and Corrupt. So I'm not going to be applying liner, so I just want to lightly line my lash line with some black shadow just to give my lash line some definition and darkness, and I'm applying that with my E68 Line Perfector Brush by Sigma. To line my waterline and tight line, I'm picking up this Sigma Longwear Eyeliner Pencil in Wicked. I'm now going to line my upper waterline, and then I'm going to line my lower waterline. I'm now going to apply some mascara and false lashes, and today I'm going into these Lash Alicious Lashes in Fleek Alicious. And that's the eye look done. So you can pair this look with any lip, but because it is officially fall and I needed a first fall tutorial on my channel of the year, so what else is more fall than a nice vampy lip? So that is what I'm going to be doing today. I'm so excited. I haven't worn a vampy lip the entire year, so I'm excited because fall looks have to be some of my favorite. I just love the vampiness and the warm colors and just darkness and it just makes you feel warm. <laughs> so today I'm going to be going into this Flower Beauty Miracle Matte Lip in Fig Frenzy. And that is it. This is the completed look of my sparkly taupe smoky eye. I hope you guys enjoyed I'm in love with how rich this lipstick is. The only issue was it was a little patchy, so what I did was apply it first and then let it dry for a few seconds and then went back in with another layer just to touch up the patchiness, but it looks amazing. And it kind of gets shiny, but then when you pat your lips together, it kind of mattifies it and I don't know, I'm loving it. I love super rich, dark, vampy lips. They're my favorite. So if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter, that'd be right here as well as down in the description box. And also list up all the products and brushes that I use today will be linked down in the description box as always for you guys to find everything easier. Also, let me know down in the comments below what your favorite colors are for fall eyeshadow colors and color combinations because I'm going to be looking at those comments and thinking of what my next tutorial should be for fall based on the colors that you guys chose and wrote down in the comments. So I think that should be it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!